Breaking overnight, a double shooting at a SEPTA station leads to a police chase. Now, a man and woman are in custody. Eyewitness News reporter Ross DiMatteo is live at Temple University Hospital with the breaking details and an update on the victim's conditions. Good morning, Ross. Good morning to you, Jim. Let's start with the victims. Police tell us two people were shot, both of them taken here to Temple University Hospital, where one of them is currently in stable condition, the other, though, fighting for his life. He is currently in critical condition after being shot in the chest. Police describe this as a drive by shooting at one of the busiest SEPTA stations in the entire city. Police say two uniformed officers were patrolling near Frankfurt and Arid Street shortly after midnight when a white van pulled up to the Arid Transportation Center and started shooting at the area near the stairs. Officers immediately started pursuing that van, following it north on the ground and in the sky with a police helicopter. The chase only lasted for about a mile or about eight minutes until that van stopped on the 5300 block of Sylvester Street. And the two people inside, a man and a woman, gave themselves up, according to police. Police later found two people had been shot at the original scene at the transportation center, but they feel fortunate that more people weren't hurt in this shooting. We're very fortunate. I had to have only two people injured at this point, and again, we're very happy that our officers didn't get hurt during the course of the pursuit, nor did anybody in the public. So, hopefully, uh, through the course of the investigation, these people will face charges of aggravated assault, other charges, and they'll get huge bails and we'll get off the streets of Philadelphia. And again, here's the latest on those two victims. Both of them are here at Temple University Hospital. One of them is a 19 year old man who was shot in the leg. He's currently in stable condition. That 29 year old victim was shot in the chest. He's currently in critical condition and again, fighting for his life this morning. We're live outside of Temple University Hospital. Ross D. Matei, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Ross. Appreciate it.